Hey, peeps, Galusia here, and today I wanted to showcase a new list that I created. You can go to my channel page right now to see this list. It's my top 20 favorite videos that I've posted and uploaded to my channel. The 20 videos that I think really do the best job at, at describing my channel or things that I personally liked for one reason or another, they stood out to me as the videos that define my channel. So without any further ado, let's get started. Number 20 on the list is something that was actually just posted. It's the Chromancer Amazing Artwork PAX Prime 2013. I chose this video because it's one of the first times that I've really been able to collaborate with the people behind the game itself. I've done things in the past, like with Deep Silver and stuff like that, but this is the first time that I've really been hands-on with the developers, the people that are actually making the game, and they uh, helped me to get this together with artwork for the game, and then another video to follow that went on to Machinima Realm. But this one for my channel, and it was a major collaboration for me, it was I made a really big deal out of it. Being able to actually talk to the developers of the game and whatnot was really a fun experience for me, so I had to add it to the list. Number 19 is Borderlands Played Through Day 1. And the reason I chose this was because as many people that have been watching my channel for a long time are probably well aware of, it's very difficult for me to play through an entire game and finish an entire playthrough. Every time I set out to record a series, I get into the game, I get to a certain point where the game's no longer fun, or for whatever reason I've just lost interest in the game, I end up having to stop recording for it. Borderlands was one of the only times that I was really able to actually get through the entire thing, start to finish, beat the game, and do an entire playthrough. And I did a lot of the optional side quests and things like that, so this was a very thorough playthrough. It took a long, long time to do. But again, it's a good reason why it doesn't happen too often, but I was really excited that I actually got to do that. So if you want to be able to watch a playthrough start to finish with me, that would be the one to choose. The number 18 on the list is a real life video and it's the Colorado Springs hailstorm. This happened while I was still living on Fort Carson in Colorado Springs. And besides the fact that it was a really crazy storm, it, it just reminds me of Colorado Springs. It brings back memories of a town that I lived in for over two years and did a lot of my YouTube from that city. So, you know, I don't live there anymore, but I miss it to a certain degree. And this video just kind of stood out to me for that reason. But it is a crazy storm and totally worth watching. Number 17 on the list, the Call of Duty Black Ops Wager Rage. This was not the highest quality video I've ever done. It's an older video, and the quality could have been better. But it's the first time that I really got off my normal track, where I have a very PG, kid-friendly channel. I have kids of my own. I want them to be able to watch my videos. So, you know, I keep the swearing down to a minimum and nothing insanely graphic or anything like that goes on my channel normally. But I have DV'd from that from time to time and Wager Rage is a good example of that. And it ends up being a very funny video, but there is a load of swearing in it. So, fair warn before you go to watch that video. Number 16 on the list, Glucia's first RL video, The Car. This was the first time that I ever did a real life video. I showed off a car that I had just bought that I was pretty happy about. And at the end of the video, I showed my face. And this, like as I said, this was my first real life video. And it's also the first time that I showed my face. It was the first time that my viewers got a chance to see what I looked like. Since then, I've done countless uh, live streams and so on and so forth where I've shown my face. But back then, it was kind of a big deal. And people kind of freaked out that they got to see me. So... It got its spot on the list. Number 15 on the list, Galusia's Black Ops Zombie Guide, Perks and Power-Ups. The reason I chose this video is because it was my first major breakout video. I got lucky with some search results on YouTube with this video. So this got a lot of views early on at a time when I was only getting a few hundred views per video. And this was getting thousands and thousands of views. I think now it's up to like 85,000, something like that. So it's still growing to this day. But even back then when it was just a few thousand, that was really crazy for me. And it really helped to give me a nice boost to my channel. Number 14 on the list, 8-year-old daughter sings the Star Spangled Banner. I have more than one video that showcased my kids. But this one in particular just kind of stood out to me. She really just wanted to sing a song, and she, she wants to be a rock star when she grows up. So I said, well, I can put you on YouTube. You never know what will happen. And for some reason, she's wearing this adorable hat. She's, and I told her she could sing whatever she wants, and she sang the Star Spangled Banner. And she does a pretty good job for it, being only eight years old at the time. So 
I wanted to help her get to her dream. She had over a thousand people watch the video so far, and that made her really happy, so maybe she can get a few more. Number 13 on the list, Minecraft Spawn Games, Long Lost Footage. I don't remember the exact time frame for this, but at the time that I posted it, it was way after it was actually recorded. Months and months and months and months. And the reason that this makes the cut for my top 20 list is simply just because it reminds me of a simpler time back in the day when me and my friends would just hang out and screw around in Minecraft. And in this particular video, there was some new mod or plugin or something that we had for the server that let us spawn in as many creatures as we want. And we got very carried away with it. It was a lot of fun, but it just reminds me of back in the day of just really enjoying Minecraft and just having a lot of fun with it. Number 12 on the list is a Terra video, Valentine's Day picture moment. This was me and my wife trying to enter a contest for Terra. It was a couple's picture that they were doing for Valentine's Day. And you had to get like a really nice romantic picture or something along those lines. And uh, we worked really hard on it. There was a lot of symbolism behind the picture. And it was just a cute moment with me and my wife. So I really enjoyed it and it made it to the list. Number 11 on the list is Minecraft Adventures Episode 7, Pig Mountain. And the reason I chose this is because Episode 7 was the first video that I started to really feel comfortable with doing the whole recording in the YouTube thing. I mean, even since Episode 1, I felt like it was something I should do and I, I felt comfortable enough doing it. But I really started to kind of get into a stride. And even though if you compare the quality of the video then to something from now, there's no comparison. Just But that has more to do with equipment and a little bit of uh, experience and so on and so forth. But I really just felt like I was getting more comfortable and in my stride with episode 7. And I think it's a particularly good video. It has some really funny moments, so it makes the cut. Number 10 on the list, Minecraft Adventures episode 34, Let's Get Creative. My first creative video for Minecraft. I've been playing Minecraft since Alpha 1.1. The very first episode was in Alpha 1.2, so a lot of survival. So when they finally came out with creative mode, I wanted to dedicate a whole season of Minecraft adventures to it. We ended up building this entire like city area, the village and the surrounding areas around it. And I think it's a really good season. It's very enjoyable. And even though it's not survival, so it doesn't have all those exciting elements that you can sometimes get with a Let's Play, it was still a really good season. And that's the start of it. So again, if you wanted to sit down, watch a whole season of something, that would be a good place to start. Number nine is the Call of Duty Black Ops 33 and 3 in Nuketown Dom. This was the very first Call of Duty multiplayer game I ever posted. I had done a lot of zombie videos up to this point, but I never did anything from the multiplayer. And this was the first one that I ever did. It was a pretty good gameplay. It's very strong, uh, well done in Domination, going 33 and 3 on Nuketown, which, as you know, can be a pretty crazy map and difficult to get high scores. But it's a good video, but it's the first multiplayer video that I did, so I thought it had some relevance. Number eight is another multiplayer video, but this one's for Modern Warfare 3. 29 and 2 on Offshore, TDM. I did quite a few Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer videos. I was trying to stretch my legs a little bit, do some other things besides just doing Minecraft and Zombies. So again, I went into some multiplayer stuff with Modern Warfare 3. This is one of my favorite multiplayer videos that I did from Modern Warfare 3, but there are quite a few good ones, but this would be a good one to start off with. Number 7, Minecraft Challenge, Mirror's Edge Map is another one of those videos that has an advisory on it because there is quite a bit of swearing on this. This was a very difficult parkour map based on the game Mirror's Edge and it was insanely, insanely difficult to finish and it is very rage-inducing and will produce some language that may not be for everybody but because of that fact, it's a very funny video and it's very worth watching. Number six on the list is Industrial Craft Adventures Episode 1. Minecraft just got way cooler. This was way back in the day when the Industrial Craft was still pretty much a brand new thing. is before Industrial Craft 2 and all that. And this was the first episode that I did what is now many episodes of Industrial Craft Adventures. And it was the first time that I did something major that was Minecraft related, but different from regular Minecraft. I'd always been a purist and played just regular vanilla Minecraft. And Industrial Craft Adventures was the first time that I really broke away from that. And it ended up being a good choice because it was a very popular series that a lot of people love to this day. Number five on the list is Minecraft Adventures Episode 1, my very first video. I had to put it on the list somewhere. It was the very first video I ever did. It's obviously very dated. You can see that I'm incredibly noobish at the whole YouTube thing. You know, the mic quality is low. The recording quality is meh. But it still 
has a place in my heart and probably a lot of my viewers as it is the place that I got my first fresh start at. Number four is Galusia's Black Ops Zombie Mode Challenge, The Foyer. This was the very first zombie challenge video that I ever did. To anyone that's been around my channel for a minute, you know that I've done many, many, many zombie challenges where you do some kind of unique thing to make the game harder and more challenging. This was the very first one that I did. It was the thing that sparked the whole idea. To this day, I stand by the fact that I was one of, if not the first YouTuber to really start getting into this kind of thing. This was before zombies had exploded and become a really big popular thing. And no one that I knew of was doing anything like this. They were just doing straight up zombie videos. And I decided that I was going to get something to make it more interesting and, and keep that kind of thing going where I, I do challenges to make it more interesting. The Foyer Challenge was the first one that I came up with, so it started the whole thing, and that's why it's on the list. Now, Black Ops Zombie Mode, Galusia, and Reptarius. This was the first zombie video that me and Raptor did together. Many videos to follow after this, but this is the one that sparked the whole thing. And for quite a while there, I had a whole following on my channel of people that I'm pretty sure were just showing up just to watch Raptor. He commanded a lot of people to watch him. He's absolutely hilarious if I can be uh, so bold as to say that Raptor and me together worked very well. Our repertoire between us was awesome, and I really wish I could bring that back. You know, Raptor is busy with real life and can't do any YouTube-ness now, but if you've never seen his videos or if you just want to remember how great they were, go back to this one as that is the start of it, and there's many more to follow after it. Number two on the list, Minecraft movie, Galusia's Adventure movie. My very first Minecraft movie. I originally had to post this on other channels as back in the day YouTube was really strict about time restraints and I could only post up to 15 minute videos. So it sat around on other people's channels for a very long time before my time limit got lifted and I could post my Minecraft movie on my own channel and thank God I did. The Minecraft movies have been the most popular thing on my channel to date. They have been a huge reason for the success that my channel has seen and this was the one that started it all. And the number one video that I have chosen for my top 20 uploads is Minecraft Adventures Special Edition, Oops Fire. This will always have a special place in my heart as being an incredibly funny video just from my own stupidity. I They just added fire to the game. Flint and Steel was still a very new thing. I wanted to test it out. And this was before they nerfed fire because they had just added it. So... I light a fire, and what ends up happening after that is absolute chaos. It could have been way worse than it was, but it was still a complete nightmare. And you can just hear the shock and awe in my voice as you're watching the video, and you can just see how devastating the whole experience is for me. And to this day, I've probably watched the video 20 times, which may seem a little weird that I watch my own videos, but it's a very funny video. And to this day, I can start up the video and watch it, and I'll still laugh. And it brings up memories of the world that I was playing on at the time. It's a very old world that I used to play for YouTube, and the whole experience is just very funny. So it still has a very special place in my heart. And that's my number one video. So I hope you've enjoyed this top 20 list. As I said, you can go to my channel page, and all these videos will be listed in my favorite uploads section. You go, you can go through these videos. Watch a few of them that you may not have seen because they're older videos. And if you end up liking some of them, there's any one of the videos that I chose has other videos that are similar to it. So if you go back and you watch, you know, like the old Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer video, for example, there's several others like it that you can go through and watch. So I just wanted to let everyone know what was going on on my channel with all the past videos, give you some options as to what you might want to watch. So hopefully this was an informative video and you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Laters!